Hi there everyone, welcome to Kane on Arcade. Time for another Arcane theme video. Today I'm drawing attention to a notable and popular franchise, Sega Rally. The very first Sega Rally Championship was developed by Sega's AM3 studio in the year 1994. Sega Rally Championship was released on the iconic Sega Racing Cabinets, also used for games like Daytona USA and Indy 500, among others. The game runs on the Sega Model 2 arcade hardware, which produced some revolutionary graphics for the time. I'm sure there's a 90s Sega game that you like that likely used this kit or similar. Sega Rally 1 received critical and commercial success, which enabled it the opportunity to expand to a franchise in the coming years. Sega Rally Championship is an off-road rally racing game in which players drive rally cars across one of four tracks as quickly as they can, passing through checkpoints in a strict time window. Should you fail to do so, the racer has to retire, and is prompted with the famous game over screen if you do not put in another coin to continue. The first Sega Rally has two cars to choose from, which are both from Group A in real Rally of the era. The cars are Italy's Lancia Delta HF Integrale and Toyota's Celica CT4. There is also a secret car to unlock, the Lancia HF Stratos, which only the cool guys knew how to unlock. It doesn't have a notable car model, but it does feature better speed and performance. Like other Sega races, the cabinet sported a four-gear H-gate shifter, acceleration, brake pedal, and the player had the option to choose automatic or manual driving. The four tracks in the game include desert, forest, mountain, and lakeside, of which they increase in difficulty in this order. The last track can only be accessed after reaching first place in all the other courses, however. Oh yeah, we love an arcade game that actually challenges and rewards the player. <coughs> when not playing the arcade mode, you could race your friends. The cabinets had link options of up to 16 players, that is, if the arcade has the space for it. Sega Rally Championship received decent ports on the Sega Saturn and PC, along with sequels and spin-offs. Even game developers Codemasters apparently cited Sega Rally as a strong influence to them when they were developing their first Colin McRae Rally game. I failed to mention back in the day that there actually was this amazing simulator version that you could play at Sega Joypolis back in the 90s. Ooh man, I'd love to try me one of those. Sega Rally Championship sold really well, enough to warrant an awesome sequel, Sega Rally Championship 2 which was released on the Sega Model 3 hardware in 1998 and also sported a handbrake on this cabinet. The game had updated graphics and physics, new tracks and more terrain types, as well as more vehicle choices from other manufacturers who race in Rally, for example Mitsubishi and Subaru. Sega Rally 2 could link two twin cabinets or four DX cabinets for up to four players. The sequel also received a port of its own to the Sega Dreamcast and PC. Both games can be played on home systems, however, I feel this game is at its absolute best when played on a real arcade machine, as it does a great job simulating rally racing for the time. Now it's also worth mentioning the forgotten Sega Rally 3. Yeah, you heard me, there is a third one. Sega Rally 3 was released in 2008 on the Sega Europa R arcade kit. SR3 was not developed by AM3, however, and instead was developed by a Sega Racing Studio team. It was an unusual release because the console versions actually hit shelves quicker than the arcade cabinets, and it wasn't released in Japan, oddly enough. So it's worth noting the game is a somewhat similar version of Sega Rally Revo, as seen on PS3, 360, PSP, and PC. Sega made four different cabinet variants for this game, for the arcades, However, it's easy to mistake the appearance of the machine as there are an influx of bootleg machines of Sega Rally 3 on the internet which make it hard for me to provide the correct imagery. Oh, mm, mm, this is the best, the finest bootleg. Four star, best in the city. Zag it! The console variants have decent reviews, however, so it may be worth checking out if you are a fan. To sum everything up, there's plenty of Sega Rally out there and I encourage you to check out the cabinets and give it a play if you can. I still see Sega Rally 1 and 2 cabinets often when I'm out in venues still, 
so I hope people can continue to give video arcades the love that they deserve. And that's it for another video, I hope to see you next time. Take care, and long live the arcades. Sega Rally Championship. Okay, so if you're listening to me right now, that means you made it to the outro of the video, and I thank you very much for uh, watching and listening to me. Sega Rally is definitely one of those franchises that I think is very notable to a lot of people in the same way Daytona USA is, and I personally have loved the series. I've played a lot of the first two Sega Rally games, so they mean a lot to me. Um, this is also just a perfect time to mention. Uh, feel free to check out the description if you want to see the other stuff that I do, because I also have an art channel. But other than that, I'll save you all the ramble, and I'll see you next time.